off right there at I-25 at uh, Thornton Parkway. Almost was caught by the officers. They were trying to join the highway. Goes southbound on Peoria. Here on Peoria, dives around. Look there at 64th Avenue. Nearly hit some other cars. And this is where I thought he was going to get caught. He ended up in a little parking lot area here that is really a no man's land near about 69th Avenue. He decides to go up into the grass over the curb there. And he can see there's no restrictions right through the little fence and then down the embankment and on to I-76. So that's how he was able to escape the side streets and then get back up on the highway. This is where he was going on I-76 for a while, stops. This is where he carjacks that family, the, the couple. He gets uh, the driver's door open gets the driver out the passenger she jumps out of the car right now and then goes to the side and this is when he has that gold uh, minivan and then drives away back going the wrong way on i-76 nearly hitting look at that semis police officers they try to get the stop sticks out and throw it across the highway but unfortunately they missed and he almost missed hitting a few cars this is later on after he drove on e-470 after he hit that state trooper he now tries to get out of the car and tries to carjack that guy in the uh, in the uh, in the in the BMW, he then bumps that black car, hits this lady. This is the next car that he carjacks when he just got off of Peoria, just south of E470. He pretends that hey, I just hit you. I'm in an accident. What's going on? And he gets up to the uh, woman's door. He opens it up and then rips her out, throws her to the ground, and then takes her car and then continues on his uh, on his wild chase. I was scared right there. I thought, let it go. Just let the car go. Don't go chasing after the car. She, he then comes into the intersection right here at Peoria and Lincoln Avenue, where he causes that accident. The car is undrivable. He jumps out, almost trapped. He wanted to get into that car there and take it again, but he was unable to because of the Douglas County deputy there. And now he's on foot, running through the uh, front yard of that bank. He goes around the bank, slips and falls on the snow, loses his jacket, and eventually goes over to a fence where he can't get through anymore, and this is where the officers eventually get him without any other resistance, which was thankful news. So a very scary chase that lasted well, about 45 minutes or so this morning, and thankfully it didn't uh, turn out worse than it could have. As